Brandon, I got a question for you. First time home buyer out there, is real estate really a good investment for them or should they rent for a while, build up a big down payment and avoid things like mortgage insurance? You know, we have examples going a ways back, but even more recently, just from October of 2015, as to the amount of appreciation and value that homes have went up. It's not getting any cheaper if you're looking to buy. Sooner is definitely better, just because of the large appreciation that we're seeing. Also, when it comes to renting, you're not gaining any equity in that property. Real estate, that's the one investment where you can live in. So not only are you getting uh, a value to it directly, but you're also gaining appreciation as well. Yeah, but when you're a renter, you don't have things like, oh, the furnace went out, I have a $10,000 bill. So would that appreciation make up for those kind of big investments you're gonna have to put back in the property? Well, last couple of years, we've seen double digit appreciation. Historically, we've seen four to 5%. So it's definitely, it's more than that furnace that you're gonna gain back on that. When you leave your apartment or your rental, you're not getting anything in return of that. Except for hopefully your damage deposit back and depending on what your dog did to the place. Well, there's another piece of that, which is let's say when you're purchasing, you put 5% down um, and your house is appreciated at 8% interest. You didn't make 8% on the 5% that you put down. Right, it was on that whole purchase price on it. Sorry, that might come out to them. Boy, leveraging that up to maybe what 30 35 percent rate of return on your money or greater right especially lately that could be over well over 100 percent and again you mentioned you can't live in any other investment you've got to live someplace so when you look at what the rent cost which all you're doing is making your landlord happy and that's expected to increase at eight percent yeah we're seeing huge rate hikes um, in terms of what they're charging for rentals right now yeah yeah that's just crazy um, and that's not expected to change so the advantage to purchasing is that you lock in your cost of living now. So we see a lot of people that when they're looking at how much it costs in order to get their mortgage and so forth with a little bit higher interest rates and so forth, like, oh my gosh, that is right at the top end of what we can afford. Give them three, four years, they've built a ton of equity in the property, they're in a totally different position. And then when they're rolling off into the next house and so forth, they have this big down payment. How do people have $150,000, $200,000, $500,000 to put down on a house? They've rolled several houses forward. Renters can't save that amount of money on a monthly basis in order to make up for just what the appreciation is. You just see those houses stay out of reach for as long as you rent. Right. Real estate is an incredible way to build wealth for you and your family. It really is. So even in, despite what the market's doing, recession coming up, um, looking at interest rates that are, that are a little bit higher right now, still one of the best investments that you can possibly get. Absolutely. The average wealth of a homeowner is, it was like a factor of eight or nine times higher than that of a renter. And it's all in that home equity. Yeah. Hope you found this information useful. And if you are looking to buy, whether it's your first home or your eighth home, make sure and give us a call. We're more than happy to help you. We have some wonderful tools to walk you through the process.